What's up? How are you guys today? I'm gonna to show you a quick recipe for collagen pancakes. This is what I've been having for breakfast lately. It's a really quick, easy, and convenient, complete breakfast to get all your protein, carbohydrates, and fat. Even if you don't have that great of an appetite in the morning, this is very palatable, very tasty. You know, I really like the idea of adding collagen broth to the pancake batter, which means you, know, you don't have to cook sausage separately. You know, if you're kind of queasy, you don't have to try to down some meat in the morning. So we'll show you guys what you need. For ingredients, we have our Birch Benders Organic Classic Pancake and Waffle Mix. We have some quick oats. It's gonna be half oats, half pancake mix, a little bit of sugar, salt, and vanilla. And then for the liquid component, we're gonna use half glass bottle of mineral water and half collagen extract, AKA bone broth from Frankie's Free Range Meat. And I've tried this with collagen powder, it does not work. Uh, even with this, honestly, the pancakes are still a little dense, but uh, it turns out a lot, a lot better. Uh, so we're just gonna heat some collagen broth up on the stove and uh, mix everything together. Uh, but everything available, guys, frankiesrangefoods.com for everything. Sugar, vanilla, salt, pancake mix, quick oats. We got all that on the foods website and we got collagen broth uh, on the meat website. And this guys, it doesn't, it doesn't smell or taste like beef at all. That's why this is, is very nice in the morning. It really doesn't smell like anything. It's just a neutral amino acid source. Good source of protein that doesn't taste like much. Now, I don't know if you guys can see the clock, but it's like one in the morning. So we're doing this the night before because you want to let the powder and the dry ingredients really hydrate. Uh, in the morning, maybe I'll let it sit for like 15, 20 minutes. Um, you, you just want it to really kind of incorporate and it'll digest a lot better. So we're gonna put about two tablespoons of collagen broth in, in the pan on the stove top here. Put a little bit of water in here. Turn the gas on. And this is only gonna take uh, a few seconds to melt. So we'll mix our dry ingredients for the pancake batter. Half a cup of the pancake mix, half a cup of the quick oats. So just equal parts, pancake mix and quick oats. This is because the pancake mix is a refined flour. It's not too high in fiber and soluble fiber especially is a very important component of liver detox. So uh, we need to cut it with some type of fiber source. Then you just put a little bit of sugar in here, maybe a teaspoon. If you put too much, it's gonna stick to the pan. Then all the dry ingredients go into a bowl. And then we pour in our collagen broth and water mixture. And then I'm just gonna put a drop of vanilla extract. I don't always use vanilla. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It's still good without it. So I'll just mix this together. So just add a little more water. And you can be pretty lax with the texture here. If it's a little thinner and soupier, then the pancakes are gonna be, well, correspondingly thinner, uh, which usually turns out better for this recipe because if you, you know, the water is gonna absorb. So right now this seems like a thick soup, but it's gonna really solidify. So you definitely want more water than this. Um, but if it is really thick and dense and you don't put enough water in here, the pancakes are gonna be thick, which normally, if you weren't adding collagen broth to this, they would still turn out good and nice and fluffy, but the, the protein can kind of make these pancakes really dense. So it's better to add a little more liquid. But uh, that's pretty much ready. So we're just gonna cover this and let it sit overnight. And then in the morning, we'll have our pancakes ready. Unfortunately, we were not abducted by a five foot tall Asian girl overnight. So we're gonna make some breakfast. So we'll turn the gas on to deprive the room of oxygen and constrict my brain cells even more. As you guys can see, the pancake batter has set up a bit, you know, less soupy. I'm just gonna use maybe two tablespoons or a big tablespoon of, of coconut oil. I'm on very strict liver detox diet, so I mean, I could even add a little bit of butter to this if I wanted to for some extra flavor. But uh, this is what I like, just organic refined coconut oil. This is available on the uh, foods website too. Obviously, you know, virgin coconut oil is, is less inflammatory because it's not like bleached and deodorized, but 
I can't stand the taste of coconut, so this is our best option. It might get a little loud. I'm gonna put the vent on. It's actually a little too much oil, so we'll flip some out. So if the batter is made correctly, you should be able to just use a normal spatula, but in case these do get stuck, you might want something that's very sturdy. I have this uh, this steel spatula. I think it's available on, on the Amazon shop, Frank Tufano. Same with, uh, same with these pans. This is a green pan, non-stick skillet. Not cheap, not too expensive. They've been holding up pretty well. Uh, I've probably had them for almost a year now and, and they're finally showing some signs of wear. All right, so pan starts to smoke a little bit. We're gonna put in our batter. Now, I prefer, you know, nice, small pancakes. Asians usually prefer big, sloppy, ugly ones, but we'll talk about that in another video. We're gonna, well, we could check if it's browning. Yeah, I think we're good. Gotta be careful because these can burn very fast with all the, the collagen protein and sugar in here. It's, it's very prone to caramelization. Caramelizes very, very, very quickly. So after I flip these over, I like to put a, a tiny sprinkle of sea salt on the top of the pancakes because th this is the really flavorful, crispy, crunchy part. So when you put a little bit of salt on it, it really, uh, really stands out with the maple syrup sweetness. It's very delicious. But this is super fast, guys, outside of the, the waiting for the batter to hydrate. Very quick recipe. Now, if I wasn't as strict with my liver function, uh, these turn out a bit more flavorful if you put like a lot of coconut oil in here I mean obviously because you're like frying them but but the more oil in the pan typically the crispier these will get and there's a lot more flavor so we have our nice delicious caramelized collagen pancakes and the way we formulated this recipe it's a complete nutritional source. You know, you have protein, carbs, and fats, everything you need to get started throughout the day. Uh, I like putting uh, organic maple syrup on this. This is what we have available on the foods website. And I don't usually do it, but if you want, a lot of you guys have been saying that this uh, pecan butter that we also sell is super, super delicious on pancakes. So if you do want to add a little more fat for some more energy in the morning, that's definitely a good option. Uh, I usually try to have uh, some B vitamins like B1 or B complex with this uh, and occasionally some vitamin C because that, that's the only downside. Your body uses vitamin C and B vitamins to process carbohydrates and sugars. So, you know, when you're eating really calorically dense food like this to fuel your body, it can help, it can help to have that. And of course, I always have some, some masticum with it too. But um, yeah, I like these a lot. You know, out of all the breakfasts we've been doing, uh, for me, it's just more easy and convenient. You know, I don't have to cook sausage. I don't have to have stuff on the side. Uh, I, I can stomach it in the morning, although I probably won't eat all of these, uh, probably just two or three. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully you like this recipe and uh, the creative idea of using collagen broth in this will allow you to uh, add protein, especially to like picky eaters, you know, your kids' diets. Um, to give them some really, really high quality nutrition. And this can really be applied to any sort of baking or any recipe because that collagen broth we have on Frankie's Syringe Meat, it's, it's a neutral flavor. You literally do not taste it. When you eat these pancakes, yeah, they are heavier, they're a little dense, but you won't be able to tell there's any like collagen broth in there or anything at all. Uh, if you wanna get really, really, really like nutritious, if you have kids and they're growing age, you know, you could, do entirely collagen broth instead of water if you wanted to. Uh, maybe put even put a little more vanilla in there. You get the syrup on there. With some, it's, it's delicious. People love this, and they're getting a lot of nutrition. Uh, so if you guys go to frankdestefano.com, you'll see all of my interesting and creative health businesses. Uh, Frankie syringe meat, foods. You know we got the organ supplement stuff here. Frankie's Naturals, Wi-Fi shielding, whatever you guys want. Take a look. Um, but that'll be it. So as usual, guys, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And I'll see you guys soon.
Thank you.